You better let me answer the door. Uh. <laughs> Good morning. Are you Mr. Griffin? Well, I'm Mrs. Baxter. Won't you... Where's your husband? <laughs> Took long enough to get here, and I can't waste any more time. Well, he's upstairs in the bedroom. If you'll just follow me... Don't bother. I'll find him. <laughs> <laughs> For heaven's sakes. What's the matter? That Mr. Griffin. He's the rudest man I've ever met. He steps out of line with me. He'll wish he hadn't. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Griffin. Gee, I'm sorry I wasn't... Forget even... about that. I want to know how you feel about the Dolan inventory. Well, I... I brought the papers. Here, look at these figures. I made you an eggnog, Mr. B. Just put it on the table, Hazel. 112 tons of 8-gauge steel. Yeah. Better drink it now, you'll forget. <laughs> on the table? 112 tons, 8 gauge steel would have a value of. Uh... Mr. B, you better drink it now. <laughs> Get rid of her. Hazel, Mr. Griffin and I have some very important work to do. So have I, nursing you. Come on, drink it. <laughs> Hazel, th 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 this is the merger, you know. I, I, I... I know, big multi million dollar deal. Drink your eggnog. <laughs> You wouldn't work for me for two minutes. You're darn tootin' I wouldn't. <laughs> Drink it. All right. It's the fastest way of getting rid of her. Well, hurry. Hurry up. Cover your mouth when you sneeze. You're spreading germs like they was confetti on New Year's Eve. Do you know who you're speaking to? Sure. Name's Griffin, ain't it? Baxter, get her out of here. It's hard enough to work the way I feel without the irritation. What's the matter? I have a cold, but I don't cater to it. Now go back to your pots and pans. Let's feel your forehead. Uh, you keep away from me. Oh, you're burning up, you poor thing. I am not. No wonder you were such a crab. You ought to go home and get to bed. I'm staying at a hotel and I no have no one to take care of you at a hotel. I don't need anybody to take care of me. You put on these flannel PJs. You'll be nice and warm. Hazel, what are you doing? I'm putting them in bed right here. Mrs. B can sleep in the guest room for a couple of days. This is ridiculous. You better snap into it, mister. I'll put you to bed myself. If you think I'm going to get in that bed, you're crazy. I'm no talking. <laughs> So I feel that Mr. Griffin's contribution to this proposed merger is much greater than yours. Well, I'll tell him, but I'm positive you won't agree to it. 50% of the stock or the deal is off. Tell him 50%'s okay. Mr. Griffin, that'll cost you thousands of dollars. Tell him okay. <laughs> Mr. Dolan, Mr. Griffin has accepted the merger on your terms. We'll sign the papers and send them over to you. Right, sir. Goodbye. Well, congratulations, Mr. Griffin, but I do feel if you'd held out, we could have gotten more. Oh, what's money? <laughs> you know something, George? What's that, Mr. Griffin? Call me Harvey. <laughs> All right. Harvey? <laughs> My mother was the finest woman. You know? Well, I'm sure she was. Harvey? Call me Harv. <laughs> Harv? Yes. Hazel sort of reminds me of my mother. Hazel? <laughs> yes. Mom wore bed socks, too. <laughs> my feet are as warm as toast. Okay. Okay. Roll over. Shot time. Oh, not again. Not so soon. Yes, it is. Right on the... What do you know? The assembly just started. Harv, my boy's leading the Pledge of Allegiance at his school. I don't expect you to stand up, but I'd like you both to lie at attention and join in. Uh, <laughs> I, pledge I pledge allegiance to the, to the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to, to the republic for which it stands. One nation under, under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, roll over. <laughs> Who's the gal? It's everybody's pal. It's Hazel.